Hello guys, we are doing an arms and abs workout today. This is gonna be an advanced workout. So I want you guys to go ahead, grab your dumbbells, keep them close by, and we're gonna start with a warm up. I want you to reach your arms all the way overhead, and I want you to just give me small bends to the side, side to side to stretch out those abs, and to get those shoulders stretched out right here. All right, I want you guys to bring your arms into big arm circles all the way to the back. Start stretching up those shoulders, extend at the top, get those abs engaged. Give me a few more right here, and then we're going to go to the back. All the way to the back with those arms. Make them big. Keep your arms straight so that your shoulders are staying engaged as you do this. Awesome, guys. Make sure you start breathing here. Bring your arms right here, and you're going to give me little arm circles to the back. So you're now you're really getting those shoulders engaged right here. You're just going small circles. All right, take it to the other side, guys. I want you to bring them forward here. Keep those arms straight. Keep those shoulders super tight. You guys can see my knees are slightly bent because I'm keeping my abs engaged this whole time. All right, a few more. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Keep them here. You're going to bring your arms up and down. These are dancer arms. You're just turning your hands up and down and pressing so that your shoulders start to burn. So you're going to start to feel a little bit of a burn in your shoulders. That's exactly what you want to feel here and breathe, just press up and down. We're gonna go for a little while here until you guys really feel that burn. Keep those knees slightly bent so that you're keeping those abs engaged the whole time. No arching in the back. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Last thing I want you to do, come to the side of your mat. Walk it down for me all the way down. High plank hold, walk it back up, and do it again. Three times all the way through. Come down, hold, walk it back up quickly. And up. try to keep those legs straight, those knees straight. When you do this, it's going to engage your abs a lot more. Walk it up. And I want you guys to go down. Last one, you're going to hold at the bottom right here. And I want you to bring one foot forward. Reach up to the side. Breathe. Switch it over. Other foot comes forward. You're stretching out those inner thighs. You're stretching out that arm, that back, and those abs. One more each side. Then we'll walk it up. And we will get started, guys. Drop. Other side. Reach all the way up, big breath, enjoy that breath, walk it up, and let's get started. There we go, guys. All right, guys, so you know the drill in this workout. You have three circuits, four moves in each circuit, and we do them each for a minute through no break. So you know we do this quick to keep burning out all those body parts as we go through. So guys, go ahead, grab those weights, and I'm going to show you our first move you'll be doing for a minute. So you guys are going to start with a half bicep curl to a full bicep curl each time you come all the way down, okay? Go ahead, grab those weights. We're going in three, two, one. So you guys have a half bicep curl to a full bicep curl all the way up. Take it down slow, pull up half, hold, drop, pull up the whole weight. So you guys, when you bring it up here half, you're squeezing those biceps, you're gonna drop and come all the way up, slow drop. Guys, notice my knees are slightly bent here. That's on purpose so that you can keep those abs engaged and keep that back from arching. Go ahead, pull all the way up, drop slow, hold, drop, all the way full bicep curl, drop. All right, you're gonna start to feel those biceps really burn out here. That is good, you want that. Keep going, pull all the way up, breathe. Good, drop, all the way up, drop slow. There we go, guys. All right, you have about 15 seconds. I want you to breathe, pull, hold, drop, squeeze all the way up. Make sure you're not squeezing those elbows into your side here. You really just want to make sure your biceps are taking all that weight. All right, five, four, three, two, one. You guys are going to meet me here in a bent row position. Your next move, you're going to pull up one side, kick back all the way to that tricep. Other side goes up, kick back. Then you're going to do them both together. Go ahead and meet me when you're ready. You're back all the way up, slow kick to those triceps, drop, alternate one side. Bent row to tricep, kick back. Other side comes up all the way up. So when you guys bring it up here and kick back, I want you to hold, squeeze those triceps. That's really going to get into the back of your arms. Woo, there we go. All the way up. Bring it up, guys. Kick it back. Drop slow. Guys, notice my back is absolutely straight, so you want to make sure you're not arching here on that back. And just look forward right in front of you. Keep that chin separated from your chest. Go all the way up. Kick back. Hold slow and drop. Amazing, guys. Ten seconds on the clock. Keep moving here. Good. Both come up together. Pull it back. Okay. You guys, give me one more each side. Good. And together. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop one of those weights. We're about to get a little bit more active here. 
You're gonna go ahead, swing that dumbbell overhead, crunch that knee in. Drop slow, swing, crunch. Go ahead, get started right away. So this one's gonna engage our abs quite a bit. You're keeping that drop slow, quick raise, crunch. Good. I want you guys to really squeeze those abs as you bring that knee in to that weight right here. Squeeze, drop slow, pull, breathe. All right, you're breathing at the top right here, crunch. Good, breathe in, pull. Good. All right, guys, keep moving here. Slow drop. Don't let that weight drop without you controlling it. All the way up. Pull. Squeeze. Good job, guys. You can go heavy with this move. You only have one dumbbell in hand. All right. Keep moving here, guys. You're almost there. You have five, four, three, two, one. You're going to grab that second weight. Your last move right here. You're starting here with a shoulder press up to a tricep press in. You bring those arms back up, you shoulder press up, you're gonna bring those weights in together. Tricep press, pull back up. So it's a bit of a challenging move, but wow, it gets into the back of your arms like crazy. Pull up, drop slow, keep this move really slow, guys. Bring those weights together right in front of your face, pull back up overhead, shoulder press up. Breathe slow, drop, pull up and out. So when you do this, you're gonna feel the back of that arm right here has to extend to bring that weight back overhead. Woo, you guys are gonna feel such a good burn here. Press it up, shoulder press out, tricep press in. Same thing, watch those elbows, 90 degrees. All right, three, two, one. All right guys, bring it back down. You're starting at move number one. Half bicep curl, full bicep curl up. Half, good. Full. So guys, we're working every single part of our arms here. You're starting biceps, shoulders, triceps, everything all the way up. Breathe. Drop slow. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe. Good. Keep those knees bent, guys. Again, pay attention to your back here. I want you to make sure your back is super straight. So you use those knees, keep them bent so that your abs become engaged here when you're pulling. Woo! All the way up. Good job, guys. Breathe. Pull. So of course, if you feel like you can go up in weight here, I want you to push yourself to up that weight. The more weight you use on those arms, the stronger they get, even if it's for one round, even if it's, if it's for five reps, give it a try, push yourself. All right, guys, you have five, four, three, two, one. You're coming into that bent row position. I want you to bend those knees, sit your butt back, weights come here. You're gonna alternate one up, tricep kick back, hold, Drop slow. Other one comes up. Kick back. Drop slow. Together. Bring it up. Hold. And drop. Awesome, guys. Take some time to breathe here. When you do this, I want you to make sure when you pull up, you're using those biceps. Pull. Kick back. Hold. Drop slow. So there is no reason to go super fast with this. The slower you go, the more you can really squeeze those muscles. Make sure you're engaging them all the way back. Good. Drop. Pull back. Squeeze, breathe in, pull. Good, guys. Drop both together, pull them up, hold. Kick back. Drop slow, all the way up. Good. Drop, bring the other one up. All right, guys, you have five, four, three, two, one. One weight goes down, other one's right here. Breathe in, swing it up, and crunch. Let's go. This is your time to speed up. This is your time to really get active. Make sure you're breathing heavy here, crunching those abs in right here. Crunch, pull. Good. Breathe. Exhale. Breathe in. Pull. Exhale. Breathe in. Pull. There we go, guys. All right. Keep those arms straight. Don't let those elbows bend. Pull. Breathe. Slow drop. Quick squeeze up. Woo! Keep it moving, guys. I want you to really push yourself here. All the way. Pull. Squeeze. Drop. This is your version of cardio in arms and abs. So utilize this time. Bring that heart rate up. Good, pull. We're breathing at the top to extend all the way up in those abs. Breathe in, pull. All right, guys, a few more. You have five, three, two, one. Grab that second weight. Let's finish up round two. All right, you're right here above head. You guys have a shoulder press out all the way up. Tricep press slow, pull it back up. Drop, pull up, 
Bring those weights right in front of your face. Pull. There we go. Let them stay 90 degrees in that shoulder press. Up. Woo! That burns those triceps so good, guys. Drop right here and you're up. Use those knees to help pull you up and down. Use those knees right there. Drop. Push. Squeeze. Woo! Come on. Push it up, guys. Drop in. Out. I want you to watch those elbows in this move. I want you to make sure they're staying right where they are. And then you're going to pull them right back straight. Shoulder press. Keep them 90 degrees. Pull up. Drop in. There we go. We're almost done with round two of this circuit, guys. Drop. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Let's finish up round three. You're right here. First move. Big breath in. Bicep curl half. Drop. Full curl. Drop. Good. So your triceps are probably on fire from that last move. Take this time to breathe. Let them relax because you're using that front of those arms, those biceps. Good. Pull, hold. Drop. Squeeze all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Good job, guys. Watch those elbows. Don't let them dig into your side here. You want to keep them right next to your side. Good. Breathe. Let's finish this, guys. We are almost through with this first circuit. Pull, hold, squeeze, drop slow, all the way up, drop slow. All right, guys. How are you doing? Keep moving here. Breathe, drop, all the way up, drop slow. This is about getting stronger. If you can go up and wait, go up and wait. This is your last time doing this circuit, this round. So keep going, pull up. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, everybody shift over. You're going to bend those knees, sit your booty back, feet are hip width apart. You're going to pull one up, kick back slow, drop, squeeze the other one up, kick back. Good. The whole time we do this, I want you to take big breaths in so you're sucking your core in right here. You're going to pull up, breathe, kick back, exhale, breathe in. Good. Breathe, pull, kick back slow, hold, drop, and release. I want you guys to keep looking forward. I want you to keep that chin up. It's going to help you to keep your back straight here. Avoid any sort of arching. Pull. Kick back. Hold. Drop slow. You want to keep those knees bent as much as you can. Your booty is sitting all the way back. All right, guys. You are killing it. Keep moving. You have the last few minutes of this round. Good. Drop. Other side. Pull. Kick back. Both come up together. Big pull. Hold. Drop. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, one weight drops. You're overhead right here. You're going to swing. Crunch in. Other side. Big swing. Pull. Good, guys. All the way up. Squeeze. You want to make sure this weight is heavy enough for you here. And you're really only going to feel it's in your abs if you're tightening them up, up right here. So when you swing down, tighten, tighten, pull. Good. All right, guys. Let's move it a little quicker here. Let's get our last bit of cardio in this round before we finish up with our last move. Pull. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Good, guys. Move it quick here. Come on. 15 more seconds. That is all you have to do on this move. Pull. Woo! All the way up. Our shoulders should be feeling it here. The front of those shoulders are working hard to bring that weight above our head. Pull. Squeeze. Five. Four, three, two, one. Second weight goes in hand. Last move, guys. You ready? You're right here. Breathe in. Drop. 90 degrees. Pull up. Weights come right in front of your face. Big push up. Drop. You're going to love this move eventually, I swear. Right here, pull all the way up. Those triceps are going to feel it so much. Just bend those elbows. Bring those weights in. Pull, hold. All right. Push. Breathe. Exhale up. Knees are bent. Abs are tight. Breathe. Pull. Woo! All the way and bring those weights in front of your face together. Pull them up. Drop to the side. Press up. Good, guys. You're up. You have 10 seconds till our round is done. Make them so good. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody breathe, grab water.
All right, I hope you guys had some time to breathe. We're starting circuit two on the end of our mat. Your first move, you guys are gonna walk it down to a high plank. You're gonna give me four mountain climbers. Each side has four. You walk it all the way back up quick, all the way, squeeze. You guys ready? We're starting in three, two, one. You got a minute, you're walking all the way down. Hold, four, three, two, one. Walk it all the way back up. Try to keep those legs straight, squeeze. Quick walk down, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Guys, I want you to be super conscious when you come into that high plank. Your butt's down, shoulders are above those wrists. You're looking forward, and then you're gonna walk it up. Try to keep those legs straight. You're working those shoulders all the way down. Breathe four, three, two, one. Quick walk up, good. Breathe, guys. You're over halfway there. Two, one. Spread those feet out. Walk it up quick. Drop. It's easier when your feet are wider in the back, so you're going to want to spread them out just a little bit. There we go, just like that. Walk up quick, use those shoulders, and hold. All right, you have five, four, three, two, one. You're going to flip it back here, guys. You're going to grab one dumbbell. You have a dumbbell set up to a press. You're going to come up here, press, roll back all the way, and press back up with those shoulders. Breathe, you guys are going, you have a minute on the clock. All the way, big press, straight arms, lay it back, try not to let those shoulders hit the ground. So you're just right an inch off the ground with those shoulders, press, drop. Breathe in, press, back, breathe in, exhale. Good guys, all the way up, keep rolling here. You wanna use those lower and upper abs to bring you up and hold you. All right. You got it, guys. Keep moving. Big press. Your shoulders should be feeling it right here when you're up. Good. Breathe. In your back, guys. Press. Good. All right, you guys. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that second weight. You're going to lay it back. You have a bicep press. So you're going to come right here with those hands by your side. And you're going to go ahead and lift them one inch off the ground. Press straight up, come down, hover those hands, press up. So if you notice my arms never hit the ground, they're just hovering here. What you do when you do that is you create a lot of tension in those triceps and biceps. Push, hold, drop slow, hover. Push up, hold, hover, there we go. All the way up, squeeze, drop. Press here, drop, hold, one inch above the ground. Squeeze up, never let those arms hit the ground. This is supposed to start to burn in the back and front of your arms. Squeeze here, push up, hold, good. Keep breathing, guys. You're up, squeezing at the back, drop, hold, squeeze up, good. All right, you guys have 10 seconds. Give me a few more, push, drop, push up. You have five, four, three, two, one. You guys are gonna go ahead, bring those arms behind your head, both weights in hand, and you're gonna pull up Lat pull to an ab crunch. Slow drop with those arms. Pull up straight all the way up. You're going to feel those lower abs get super engaged and upper abs here. So come back slowly, straight arms. Squeeze, pull. So when you squeeze your abs here, that's what's going to pull you off the ground. Try not to use momentum. Use those abs. Squeeze, pull. Amazing, guys. All the way up. Breathe. Roll back. Hold. Pull up, breathe. You're going to feel kind of that armpit area of your arms working here and the back side. All right, you're up. Roll back slow. Big pull up. Good. Drop it back and pull. All right, you guys have 10 seconds. Keep it moving here. Woo, you are going to feel those arms. If this is too much for you, go ahead, drop one of those weights. You can do it with one weight. Five, four, three, two, one. One, all the way up. You guys are going back to your plank walks. Two mountain climbers, bring it up right here. You're going down right away, guys. All the way down, hold. Four, three, two, one. We are working on round two of this workout. Squeeze up, hold, drop. You're up four, three, two, one. Spread those legs out, walk it up quick. So I want you to be really, really intentional with this move. Everywhere you go, you hold, you squeeze. Three, two, one, spread those legs out, come on up, squeeze. Good job, guys. You have four, three, two, one, spread them out. 
Walk it all the way up. Good. All right, guys. Here we go. 10 seconds. Speed them up. Keep those legs straight. Your shoulders should really be burning here. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over, grab that dumbbell. You have a sit up. Now, if you feel like you wanna add a second weight here, you absolutely can. You can turn your arms right here and press up through your shoulders. I'll show you what that looks like. You can come back here, dumbbell sit up, push, drop back, pull up right here and push. Good, all the way up, squeeze, hold. Drop back, squeeze up, and hold. That's gonna get way more intense in those abs, absolutely in those shoulders as well. Woo, all right, breathe in. Exhale, roll it back, breathe in, and push. Good job, guys. You're all the way up, push, good. There you go, guys, you're almost there. I want you to really keep those abs squeezed right here, squeeze, and push. All right, you guys, 10 seconds. Give me a few more, as many as you can do in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lay it back. You have a bicep press right here. Your arms are one inch above the ground. Press up, hold. Drop down, hover. Press up, hold. Breathe. Good, guys. So I want you to make sure you're pressing that lower back into the ground. And you're going to feel those biceps when you're hovering right here. Squeeze up. Breathe. Squeeze. You could argue it's even more intense when your arms are right here than when they're here because you're creating so much tension holding them up. Push, squeeze. Good. You're even going to feel those, this in the top of your shoulders. Yeah, there we go. All the way up. Push. Good, guys. Woo. All right. Drop. Up, squeeze. There is no less burn when you're laying down than when we're standing, all right? No expecting any less. Squeeze it up, push. Drop, hover. If this is too easy, we go up in weights. The goal here is to get stronger, okay? So if you feel like you can handle more, go for it. Check your form, make sure it's where it needs to be, and then go up. There we go. Three, two, one. All right, you guys have your arm behind your head. You're gonna pull up into an ab crunch. Drop back all the way down slow. So I'm doing it with one weight this time. If you need to do it with one weight, go for it. Otherwise, you have two in your hand. I'll tell you, you wanna pay attention to your form here. If you feel like your elbows are trying to bend at all, that might be a signal to go down in your weight and really focus here on that ab pull squeeze. All right, keep moving guys. We're almost done with round two. This is going so quick. Pull it up, squeeze. So you're feeling this in your armpit area, you're feeling this in your back on the side and in those abs, squeeze up, pull. Good, a few more guys. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Guess what we gotta do now, we're getting up. Last one of those plank walk downs to our mountain climbers. You're going down right here, guys. All the way down, you have four, three, two, one. Quick walk all the way up, use those palms Squeeze, drop down. So you're using your palms to really bring you down here. Spread those feet out wide. Roll it up quick. Squeeze, drop. Breathe, three, two, one. Spread them out all the way up. Woo, all right, keep moving. This is the last time you're gonna do this move, guys. Three, two, one, spread them. Rock it up. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, that is it. Push yourselves right here. You're gonna to wanna to give me some really good ones for the last few. Let those shoulders burn out. Five, two, one. I meant four, guys. My bad. All the way up. Roll, squeeze. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Sit it all the way back, guys. Grab that weight. Dumbbell sit up right here. Breathe in, and you're gonna push up. Drop back. Woo, our shoulders are gonna be feeling this tomorrow, guys. Squeeze it up, push, drop back. You're gonna keep that weight of your body in those heels. Use those heels, dig into the ground, push. Drop back, breathe in, dig those heels, push up. Awesome, let's go, let's finish this, guys. Pull, breathe, drop back, pull, breathe. Up, 
Don't get any slower here. Don't let yourself go any slower than you were going before. You have the capability to do so much. You have to let your mind lead you here. You have to push faster. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Second weight in hand. You have two minutes left of this round. Lift those biceps. You're going to pull up, hold, drop, hover. Breathe and pull. Drop, hover here. Breathe, pull. Awesome, drop. Keep those arms hovered one inch above the ground, just like that. Squeeze up, hold. When they're hovered here, you are squeezing your biceps. Perfect form, squeeze. Good. Woo, let's do this, guys. We are almost there. Drop, hover, pull, squeeze. Those arms better be burning. That's what I want you to feel. That burn is such a good thing. That is where all the work is happening. Drop, hover, squeeze, pull. Breathe through that burn. Don't drop, don't stop. Just breathe in. Exhale. Let air into your body. That's what's going to make your muscles be able to go longer than they're going now. It's letting air into them, letting them recover a little bit more. Good. Exhale. All right, guys, let's finish this. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight. Last move of this round. Dumbbells behind your head. You're going to pull up all the way. Roll back. Slow drop. Pull it up all the way. Good job, guys. Roll it back. And squeeze all the way up. You want to tighten up those abs. You're going to want to feel it right here in those abs when you're squeezing all the way up and in. Good. Back. Pull. You want to keep those elbows super straight when you go back so that your armpit area, the back side, is feeling this too. All right. Pull. Squeeze. Up. Drop back. Pull. Squeeze, guys. All right. We are so close to finishing this round, and we are over halfway done with this workout. So you guys stay motivated. Keep pushing here. Whatever time you're spending on this workout is going to be the same time you spend no matter how much you give. So give all that you have in this workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody rest. All right, guys, we are on our last round. I want you to come down to your mat. We're going to start with one weight in hand. Your first move you have, your legs are going to be up. You have your weight right above head. You're going to bend at those elbows to a skull crusher. Then you're going to come up for a toe touch. Go ahead and meet me when you're ready, guys. One minute is on the clock for this move. You're going to go all the way back, skull crusher, squeeze up, and pull to those toes. So you're trying to get into those triceps here, the back of those arms. All the way back, squeeze, hold quick, and pull up. When you're pulling up to those toes, you're coming straight up. You're going to feel this in those lower abs. This is our last circuit, guys. I really want you to push all the way up with those abs. Use those arms. If this is feeling too light with you for arms to the skull crushers, add that second weight. You can go ahead and use both of them to pull back. Makes it a lot more intense the higher weight you use. You're all the way up, guys. Breathe up. Push to those toes. Hold above your head. Skull crusher back. Squeeze up. Good. You guys, I want you to keep moving here. You have 10 seconds. Pull. Breathe back. And up. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to keep those feet all the way up. You're grabbing your second weight. You have a chest press leg drop. You're going to press up, chest press, hold, drop that leg. Come on down to the side. Other side goes up, leg goes down. So you're going to want to coordinate this. Your arms go up when your leg goes down here. Then you're going to bring them back, hover those hands, drop that leg. You can kind of go slow with this move here. There's no rush. It's all about squeezing in the right place and holding. Now, when your arms come down from that chest press, they hover. They don't hit the ground here. Woo, you are going to feel this so intensely in those abs. Pull up, squeeze, drop back. Your head can be wherever it is most comfortable. If you want to raise it up, you can. Or if you want to lay it back, you can as well. Drop back, squeeze all the way up, and out to the side. Amazing, guys. Keep going here. Ten seconds. Back. Pull up, hold. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Drop one of those weights. Okay, both your legs are down. You're gonna pull one leg in, bent leg jackknife with one leg. Other side comes up, then you bring them both together and out. Pull one, other side, and together. Now when you guys do this, you wanna make sure you're not putting all of the weight on your feet here. They're just hovering on the ground, super lightly here, and you're pulling in. You want all your weight to go to your abs. You want them to really do the work here to keep your body balanced. Pull, back, pull in, there we go up. Keep those shoulders lifted off the ground. Move quick with your feet here. Pull, squeeze. Woo, you are going to feel those lower abs really, really burn in this circuit, guys. So I want you to breathe. Let in air into your body. Pull up. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, flip on over. Our last move of this circuit is a side plank. 30 seconds each side. I want you guys to go ahead, set it up. You're going to pull that body all the way up. One arm goes up, you're going to hip dip down to the side, arm comes in front of you. Drop down, squeeze, tap in front of you. Breathe, squeeze, drop. Good. Keep those hip dips super slow here. Reach in front of you and drop. Amazing, guys. You were so close. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Flip it over. 30 seconds. Get into this plank as quickly as you can, but make sure you get that balance before you go up. Stack your feet, pull your body up, arm comes above head, slow drop, reach in front. Breathe, slow drop, reach. Amazing, guys. Reach, drop. Good. Breathe. Squeeze, keep, keep this hip dip really slow, full extension up, then reach in front of you. Good. Five, three, two, one. Drop down, guys. We are going right back to our first move. Legs go up. You have a skull crusher right here. Do a toe touch all the way up. Skull crusher back. Toe touch up. So normally when we start a circuit, you might not feel everything in the same place. You're going to feel it now because you've really started to burn out those muscles. So as you start to feel that burn, you have to be hyper, hyper focused on your form here. Pay attention every move individually. So start with that skull crusher. Bend at those elbows, squeeze up, hold, pull up to those toes. Bend back, squeeze up, hold, pull up. There we go, awesome guys, keep moving here. Pull, breathe. You have 15 seconds left of this move, then we move to our chest press, pull. Back, breathe in on the way up, roll back. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab that second weight, keep those legs up. You're right here, arms are hovered. You're gonna drop a leg, press up, chest press. Drop slow, other leg drops, squeeze up, good. You're moving together, legs and arms. Drop to the side, hover those arms, don't let them hit the ground, squeeze up, push. Drop, perfect guys. Woo! This is gonna get so deep into our abs, you gotta keep breathing here. Make sure your lower back is really pressed into the ground. So in order to do that, sometimes you need to just roll back a little bit. Good. Drop, squeeze, pull back. Breathe, big, big, big breath. Exhale, breathe in. Good. Push. Woo! All right, our armpit area is going to be feeling this tomorrow, guys, in the best way. Good. Drop. Up five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, drop one of those weight, guys. You're going to have your single bat leg jackknife up, other side goes up, you go together, pull, back, one goes up, other side, together, pull it up, push, exhale, Woo! breathe. Our lower abs are doing so much right now. It is amazing because a lot of times people don't get into their lower abs, so this is really a focused circuit on just getting pushing here. So I want you guys to really think about when you lift each foot, squeezing. There we go. Pull, hold. Breathe. Woo! All right. We are over halfway through the circuit, guys. We're so close. Push. Up. And in. There we go. Bring both together. Out. One. Lift your shoulders. Lift both up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. You have a side plank. All right, go ahead. Start on your first side that you started on last time. 
You're right here, guys. Stack those feet, bend those knees slightly in front of you, and you're gonna go ahead, pull your body off the ground. Breathe in, arm goes up, slow hip dip, squeeze, point in front of you. Drop, slow drop, good. Squeeze, drop, slow, amazing. Pull, breathe in, reach. You have five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Bring it over, guys. We are about to finish our second round of the circuit. Go ahead, bend those knees. Bring, plant that arm, bring your body up, find your balance, then reach. Drop that hip, big squeeze, reach. We're almost done with round two. You have one more round after this and you are done with this workout. So I want you to stay focused here. I want you to breathe. Give all your energy you have. You only have one more round left before this workout is done. You are here, you're doing it, you're killing it, keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it back, let's do this. Last round right here, okay? Every little bit of energy you have, you're gonna give it right here. Skull across your back. Slow, big push up to those toes. Breathe, push up and back. Breathe in. Woo, let's do this, guys. We are literally lower than the four minute mark here in finishing this workout. Pull up, back, pull up. Watch those elbow with, elbows with the skull crushers. You want to stop where your hand is above your head before you bend those elbows. Drop back. Squeeze up. All the way as high as you can with those toe touches. So your shoulders are going to leave the ground as high as you can get them before you come back down. Good. Back. Ten seconds. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Second weight is in hand. Whoop. Left that weight all the way back there. Second weight's in hand. You have your chest press up, drop one leg, bring it up, breathe, drop to the side, hover those hands, drop slow, hold, squeeze up, breathe, drop to the side, breathe in, good guys, all the way out, let huge, huge breaths into your body, breathe in, Exhale out, that's gonna help your abs to recover. Make sure your back is not arching. You're gonna to wanna to roll back if it is, press it into the ground, up. Good, back. Woo, let's do this, guys, we were so close. Breathe, push, count a number in your head. One, two, three, whatever it is, give me one more, two more, whatever you decide, and that's what I want you to count down towards, that number. All right, I'm gonna do three more right here, guys. Three more, count in your head how many more you wanna do, two more, and finish it. Last one, we're up and drop. All right, you guys, weights behind your head. Second to last move, knee goes in, out, other side, and both come up together, push, back, bring it in. So guys, I want you to pick a point on the wall that is diagonally into your gaze, and I want you to just look at it. That's where I want you to keep your head and your chin so that your shoulders are just slightly off the ground. Pull and squeeze, back, one, Good, two, pull, squeeze all the way up, exhale out, pull in. Good, squeeze, out, awesome guys. 15 seconds, heck yeah, we're almost there, pull it in, and out, up. Your abs should be absolutely on fire here, you should be breathing so big to keep that air coming in, breathe in, good. All right guys, five, four, three, Two, one, roll it up. We are finishing with our side plank. This is your last move, all right? We're gonna kill this. We're gonna do super awesome form here. Bend those knees, feet are planted, shoulders right above that elbow. Everybody pull your body off the ground. Arm is up. Breathe in, drop slow hip dip. And you're gonna reach in front of you. Drop hip dip, reach front. Good. So I want you to keep these hip dips slow because I want you to try to get as low as you can before you squeeze back up, okay? Drop. Exhale, breathe in. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. All right, 30 seconds. And our workout is coming to an end right here. Set that body up. Pull your body up here. Hold. Reach. Drop slow. Squeeze. Point. Drop, breathe. Point. All right, guys, woo! Drop slow, squeeze, 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 quick right here like a string is pulling you. 
like up like a string. There we go. And front. All right, guys. Are you ready to finish this? Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. You guys absolutely killed it. Let's go ahead and stretch. All right, guys, we're going to go through just a really quick stretch routine to help you guys open up those arms and those abs after that workout. So I want you guys to come on down here, lay on the ground, hands are on both sides of your chest, and I just want you to pull your chest and lower stomach off the ground. Take a big breath in, bring that nose up to the ceiling. Open up that stomach and those abs as much as you can. Exhale out. Breathe in one more time. Stretch out those abs. Bring those toes together in the back, those knees out wide, and come sit back into a child's pose. Keep those arms away from your body. Let them pull your shoulders just a little bit away from your body to stretch out. Go ahead, relax here. Take one big breath. Good. All right, come on up into a tabletop position. You're going to do a cat cow. So you're going to take a big breath in. Pull those shoulders round your back all the way up as high as you can to the ceiling. Exhale, drop them down. I want you to breathe in. Pull your shoulders all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop. And now tuck those toes down, come up into a down dog position, and I want you to pull your head in between your shoulders as far as you can back. So just really get a stretch up in those shoulders and open them up. Awesome, guys. Walk your feet into the front here. Grab those elbows on either side and just drop your neck. Let it relax. You can move side to side with those shoulders and those elbows. Just let your upper back here and the side of your back get a good stretch, and you'll feel your shoulders start to release some tension. All right, slow roll all the way up with that back and give me some shoulder rolls here. All the way back and forward for a few. Awesome, guys, take your arms, give me some big arm circles here. Let those arms move freely to the back for three, two, one, to the front, all the way around. There we go. All right, guys, bring your arms out to the side and bring them forward back, open up those shoulder blades. Good. Now take one arm, bring it in front of you. I want you to grab from your elbow, pull that arm in, let it rest here, and you're going to feel your shoulder all the way from the back to the front, really pulling here. Try not to turn your body. Stay facing forward. Awesome. Other side comes forward, grab from the elbow, pull it in towards your body, and breathe. All right, guys. You're going to go ahead, bring one arm behind you. You're putting your hand in between your shoulder blades in the back of your head, right here, and you're going to pull your elbow in. This is going to get really deep into those triceps. So if you did a lot of work on your triceps, you're really going to want to pull here and let that stretch all the way up. Okay, other side. Bring it up right here. Breathe in. Good. All right, guys. Last thing. I want you to take a big breath in. Bring your arms all the way above head. Breathe. Come to the side. Give me a big circle all the way around and other side. You're going to go ahead and reach up. Big breath in. Drop down and all the way over to the side. Last thing, reach here, sit back just a little bit, big breath in, stretch those abs, and you guys are done. Good job. Make sure you grab some water, get some rest, and guys, I'll see you next time.